This video is sponsored by Zebronix. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a really cool effect which you can use to create your own custom typeface. It's really simple and easy to do. And yep, without any further ado, let's get straight into After Effects and see how it's done. If you guys are looking for a really high quality speakers or maybe a cool mechanical keyboard or a super responsive mouse or a dope looking cabinet for your next build then make sure to check out zebronics.com. From slim LED TVs to wireless headsets they have it all at a really good and reasonable price. For more information check out the link in the description below. Alright so here we are in After Effects so let's start by creating a new composition 1920 into 1080 60 fps 10 seconds should be good and let's rename this to main comp oh I'm gonna keep it caps main head okay and now you can of course take your time and do it on every single alphabet or you know you can write in your own text of course but I'm gonna show you guys the concept the you know basic idea behind how to create this typeface so I will be doing it on one single alphabet but once you get the idea you can apply the same idea on any other alphabet so I'm gonna be using an alphabet maybe let's go with a D because I think it's a pretty cool alphabet and why not D for dope motions <laughs> anyways let's center this up and I'm gonna set the text to maybe 500 pixels I think it's a bit too big so let's go with something like 350 perfect let's align this in the center and of course you can type in any text that you want so I'm gonna go with the monster ad font with a bold bold look and pretty good to go so the first thing that we need to do is hit ctrl R to bring up the rulers and I'm gonna drag some guides just so that we can create the those really precise lines so you can just drag in the guide just like so and i want one more right over there and one more and one last right over here something like that and maybe i'll just drag in one more right over here as well so now we have something like that Let's hit Ctrl R and also go into view and lock the guides so that it doesn't move. And let's select the pen tool and let's set the stroke to something like a random color, maybe something like a dark pink. Five pixels looks good to me. And let's start to create those lines. Now, there is no specific way for creating these lines. You can go totally abstract, I'll say. You can use it in any style that you want. So. Yeah, you don't need to follow the exact same path that I'm doing it. So let's start from right over here and I'm going to go hold shift actually and I'm going to click right over here. Let's click right there and then I'm going to hold shift and drag it just like so to create a curve stroke and then I'm going to click right over here and there we have it. So let's I'm going to end it maybe just hold shift and right over here so it's gonna end it up and now you can just tweak it a little bit depending on what kind of look I want to go with so I'm gonna keep it something like that try to make it as smooth as possible so there we have our first line so now what I can do is go into the properties and add a trim part to this and let's animate the end property just like so so let's set this to zero and at the very beginning, I'm going to create a keyframe on the end property. Then let's go to maybe let's say 30 frames or maybe let's go with 45 frames and let's set this to 100. Then let's create a keyframe on the start property and let's go maybe somewhere around there and let's set this to 100. Then I'm going to select the start property keyframes and drag them a bit closer, maybe something like that. And now we have something like so. Pretty cool. Let's select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease it. Let's go into the graph editor and if your graph editor doesn't look like this, make sure to right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and not in the edit value graph. So let's select the handles and drag it just like so. No, I'm going to select these two handles actually. 
and I'm, then I'm going to select these two handles creating kind of a peak in the center to get a really cool motion as you can see this is looking pretty nice really cool maybe I'll increase the stroke to let's go with something like 7 okay this is looking pretty good now what I'm going to do is make sure the layer is selected select the pen tool and now you can head on to creating your head on to create your second shape so I'm going to go right over here hold shift and I'm going to click right over here so now we have us two shapes so now we have two shapes going just like so and then basically all you need to do is just continue the same you know the same uh, technique so let's select this layer and I'm going to create one more by going right over here holding shift let's click right over here select the layer and then I'm going to go with maybe I'll hit control R and bring up one more guide and place it right over here and one right over here all right so let's select the pen tool and let's click right over there hold shift click right over here and one right over here just like that so now we have oh I did that mistake I'm gonna delete this I'm gonna make sure that the layer is selected and then I'm gonna create a path so we don't have to apply the trim parts on each layer layer individually I can just you know use it just like that so now we should have something like that looks pretty good now you can make it more complex if you want to so I'm gonna keep one line just like so and let's go with one line maybe somewhere around there depending on how oh my gosh I am gonna mess up really bad select the layer and then I'm gonna go just like so so now we have something like this which looks pretty interesting okay this is looking pretty good let's hit ctrl R to hide the rulers and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the D layer that is the text layer right click and convert it into uh, shapes from text let's delete this so now we have a shape for our D letter as you can see let's set the fill to none and let's increase the stroke really big and let's make it white you can of course keep it any color that you want I'm gonna set this to around 10 and then what I'm gonna do is let's copy the trim part so hit ctrl C to copy it and let's play, paste it on the D outlines shape layer hit ctrl V so now we have something like that but let's hit U and delete or get rid of the start property I'm gonna set this all the way to zero so now we should have something like this there we go let's see our animation okay this is looking pretty good I think it's a bit too fast so let's select both the layers and hit U so we can see the keyframes let's select all the keyframes and hold alt and drag those keyframes just like so to two seconds and let's see now okay this is looking pretty good let's bring the keyframes a bit closer or forward in time or behind in time or early in time I don't know what to say okay pretty nice so once you're happy with this what I can do is let's select this layer that is the stroke layer and hit ctrl D to duplicate it and then I'm going to displace this a little bit maybe somewhere around there and let's change the color to something like a blue color now you can of course go with any color that you want I'm going to go with blue let's push the keyframes a bit forward in time for the text so I'm going to put it to one second and now we have something like that pretty cool and then what I can do is hit control Y to create a new solid this is going to be our fractal noise comp so let's rename this to fractal hit ok and let's add fractal noise to this let's set the noise type to block and let's bring down the complexity a bit low maybe somewhere around 3 and let's increase the contrast really high somewhere around there maybe I'll increase the decrease the complexity to 1 I think it's a bit too much so 1.5 yeah that looks pretty good to me you can also play around with the transform property so we can scale this up a little bit and then make sure to select the stroke layers and 
hit control shift C to precompose it and let's call this strokes and let's put the outline layer behind the strokes or below the strokes and set the stroke layer track mat to luma mat now if you don't see the track mat option you can hit f4 on the keyboard and you can switch it into your track mat option and if i hide the guides pretty quick you can see we get this really cool look which looks pretty interesting now i'm going to duplicate this again hit ctrl d and let's hit ctrl x to cut this up go into the strokes com and hit ctrl v to paste it up so now we have something like that and what I can do is actually I'm going to put the strokes and the factorial composition or layer behind or below. Why I'm saying behind again and again. Below the D outlines and I'm going to display this a bit. And also let's go back in the stroke. Let's change the color of this one. So maybe I'll go with something like a really nice orange color. Maybe something like that. So now we have something like that. Which looks pretty interesting to me. Maybe I'll make it a different color, something like this one. So I think this is looking pretty sick. Now, one more thing that you need to do is go into Fractal Noise, hold Alt and click on the Evolution Stopwatch and let's add an expression called Time into 250. So it's gonna keep on animating continuously so it gives a really nice look. You can see kind of a glitchy look to this which makes it look really nice and complex and as you saw it's really simple and easy to create and using this technique you can create some really awesome and you know complex looking typefaces and i hope this technique helps you guys so that is all for today guys i hope this video was helpful and if it helped you make sure to hit that like button comment down below if it did and make also make sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.